Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about bass. We put that in, in quotations because it's low frequency is really what we're referring to, right? Not, not reflections or anything like that. So it's really low frequency. Bass is an instrument that produces low frequency. I think that's where that comes from versus reverberation. So we know from past videos that low frequency is pressure based. Think of it as an ocean wave going through your room. It's going to strike a wall. It's going to go through the wall. It's going to be reduced in frequency and amplitude based on the materials in the wall, the way you built it, a whole host of other variables, okay? Mids and highs, those are reflection-based. Those are the things that bouncing off all the walls and our rooms and stuff, and that's the issue that people sometimes call echo. It's not. Echo is a repeating sequence, usually over a distance, but Reverberation is a summation process, a summation of all the reflections off the wall surfaces, right? And we know that each wall surface contributes about 17% to the whole problem, okay? So pressure room modes, axial, our biggest ones between two parallel surfaces, floor to ceiling, right? Sidewall to sidewall, front to rear, okay? Reverberation times, <clears throat> mainly a middle and high frequency thing, although we can have it in low frequencies. But for purposes of illustration and teaching, let's, let's stick with mids and highs to divine it. So it really has an impact on speech intelligibility. What's speech intelligibility? An easy way to, say, to think about it is to take a 10-word sentence. You have 10 words, okay? Spe speech intelligibility is how many of those 10 words can we understand we understand two then you have a speech intelligibility rating of 20. not going to work three four five six you, you try to get to 80 percent or higher so if you can understand a person speaking a 10 word sentence you can st understand eight of those 10 words your brain can usually fill in the other two and you have comprehension and understanding Speech intelligibility, big problem in churches, because what is the product of a church? The spoken word and the musical word. The spoken word has a certain index it has to adhere to for comprehension and understanding. The musical word, a little bit different, okay? We could almost say music intelligibility and speech intelligibility. I don't want any cards and letters, as they say, on musical intelligibility, because it's not really a technical term. But for purposes of this illustration, I think we can compare music and speech together, okay? Low frequency energy is that bass boom we always talk about. Echo is not reverberation. Reverberation is the summation of all the reflection. Can you have high reverberation but with low frequencies? Yes. You can have long tails. We measured a church the other day, six second big church, six second reverb times below 100 cycles. Six seconds. <laughs> that means the energy stays around in the room six seconds longer than it's supposed to. Do you think we're going to get much intelligibility out of that one? No. So you have to match the treatment type to the problem. We were working with the church uh, a few months ago. They spent over a million dollars in speaker systems. Speaker companies kept coming in and selling them new PAs. They bought four in 10 years, spent over a million dollars. And now they're back to using the original speakers that they bought 10 and 15 years ago. And the reason why is because none of the speaker systems worked. Because the speaker manufacturers told them that if you buy our speakers, your reverberation times will go away and you won't have speech intelligibility problems. The biggest misrepresentation of the truth, I'll go so far as to say a lie. I wish I'd have been there in that meeting. But the point to all of this, they spent a million dollars. If they were to spend a hundred thousand in fixing the church, the reverberation time in the church, they could have saved 900,000. Never ever buy into the fact that a speaker will solve your room acoustic issues. It's a sound source. The room doesn't care. The room only sees energy 
and will react whether that energy comes from a speaker or a human being, an animal, a dog or a cat, it doesn't make any difference. The room is going to act the way the laws of physics tell us. Physics is the law, everything else is a suggestion. So keep this in mind when you're looking at treating bass versus reverberation, because they're completely different animals. Separate technologies, separate problems. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.